A friend told me Drew Brees has an 0-4 record against the Baltimore Ravens. That's fine. They don't play the game on a stat sheet. Time for Saints football. It's time to talk Saints football with the one and only Stephen Wiley. Hello, I'm Steve Wiley. Welcome to 70 Seconds of Saints. Coming off the bye week, well-rested. Saints will be healthy as well. A lot to talk about today. Um, On a personal level for me, big changes in my life. I got engaged to be married during the bye week to a woman I met a little over a year ago. Ruthie Dore, whom I love dearly, and I'm so excited about our future together. Speaking of future, children are the future. Congratulations to Steve and Michelle Gleason on the birth of their new baby girl, Gray. Now, back to Saints football. The Ravens are the only team Drew Brees has not beaten in his NFL career. Will that change this Sunday? I don't know. The Ravens are 4-2, and two, more or less virtually tied for first place in the AFC North. Uh, they're uh, scoring twice as many points as they're given up. Through their uh, first six games, they have only given up 77 points. On the other hand, the Saints offense has been lighting up scoreboards. Nothing new, right? Uh, so I guess this is kind of the irresistible force meets the immovable object. On the injury front, the bye week, I guess... Couldn't have come at a better time. I generally don't like them to be that early in the season. But on the other hand, the Saints' bye week was early in the season when they won the Super Bowl. So looks like Marshawn Lattimore will be back in the lineup as well as Teron Armstead. Ted Ginn to IR. I imagine Trey Quan Smith will get a few more targets because of that, especially after his performance against Washington. Two touchdowns, 62 and 35 yards respectively. Not bad for a rookie. And, of course, one of those was the record breaker for Drew Brees' passing yardage record. So, what's going to happen in Baltimore Sunday? I'll be right back. And now, it's time for Steve Wiley's Pick of the Week. Okay, it's being played in Baltimore. The Saints are two-and-a-half-point underdogs. I think they're going to win. Not going to necessarily predict a high-scoring game. But I say the Saints put one in the W column. I'm Steve Wiley. Thank you for joining us for 70 Seconds of Saints.